that uh, I was emailing with uh, Mike Lockhart yesterday is that you may very well might have a uh, team challenging for the number one pick in the draft. Patriots fan, what? It, why would you not want them to lose now? Yeah. You asked me that question, I believe, last week. Was it last week or the week before? Are you rooting for the Patriots to lose? And I told you I wasn't. And now, after watching what I watched yesterday, coupled with the loss in Dallas, I am. This is way worse than the loss in Dallas. Of course it is, because it's at home, and you know, it's against the bad team. The whole the whole run up to yesterday's game was, you know what, you know, let's let's shake off that Dallas well, loss. We're clearly better than that. No, you're not. Well, every narrative is gone. Yes, because I'll tell you, and we'll explore this often but the the that you well look at the strength of schedule and you know they played good teams that's gone uh you know mac jones is a victim of the pieces around him that's gone well that's true well it is true because he is a mediocre quarterback ha- he's always not a mediocre has been quarterback always has been well I could make an argument that he's the worst quarterback in the league. Of course he is. Statistically I'm sure he is the worst quarterback in the league. Average yards per attempt he already was but I guess what I'm saying is with the he, least amount of upside he had, right. He had a specific skill set when he was drafted. He was scouted that way. He had a specific skill set. He was able to do X, Y, and Z. And in order for him to succeed in this league, you had to surround him with pieces. Alabama did that. I mean, he still hasn't been given pieces okay. adequate like he had at Alabama. Well, well that's not a, a recipe for a quarterback that is going to succeed in the league is that he has to be surrounded by elite talent. I mean, if you surround anyone with elite talent, they're going to be at least pretty good. Yeah, Brock Purdy's a perfect example of that. I think Brock Purdy might be a pretty good quarterback. But the uh, but he does have good talent around him. I mean, George Kittle's good, but George Kittle's not the greatest tight end of all time. Kittle, Ayuk's off to a great start. Debo Samuel, Christian McCaffrey, a, a franchise left tackle, a very no, good offensive line. He has line. very good talent around him. I don't know. It's not like the, it's not the Dolphins. But anyway, the argument isn't about him. The argument's about Mac Jones and whether or not he's good or not good. Obviously, because, he's not good. I, I mean, if Alabama. I, I mean, I don't. I'm not a football historian but i have to imagine that the weapons that he had around him uh in alabama are st- historically yes some of the greatest in the history of yes. college football three for first one at least three first round wide receivers a first round left tackle a first round running back a second round center you know you had two or three all americans on defense to get him the ball back no, i'm what? just talking about yeah but his weapons offensively yes. Devontae smith uh he had uh did he have Riggs on that team, or did... the kid? The kid who got arrested, who uh, Riggs driving drunk, Rugs, Rugs, Rugs. Yes. He had Rugs, who was a first round pick. Yes. He had he had uh, Devonte Smith, Heisman Trophy winner. Yeah, he yes. had uh, the his running back was um, Najee Harris. Najee Harris. Leatherwood was his left tackle. Gruden took him in the first round. Oh, that's right. Um, so. That was a very controversial pick. It was. And Leatherwood, in the end, did not turn out to be a very good pro. And they moved him off of left tackle immediately. But if you take a look, if you're going to draft a kid like that, if you've done any kind of scouting, you know what he can and can't do. If you're going to draft a kid like that, you need to surround him with good talent. And Bill Belichick, the way he runs his system, we've had Burt Breer here multiple times, and tell us many, many times that the Patriots believe in that system. The system the Patriots run is to not really spend a lot of money to bring offensive talent in, spend all the money on defense. Well, that's and draft. But, but John, draft. that's not true. They they took a big swing in free agency and who on, and on spent offense, a lot of money on offense. Who'd they take a big swing at? Other than a mediocre tight end, John U. Smith and Hunter Henry, who's okay. no, no, no. But they spent a lot of money. No, but to help no, this no, kid out. No, 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 John. They did. They spent a lot of money. Now it didn't work out. So my point is this: is they've taken big swings in the draft at skill position players. They've taken big swings in free agency at skill position players, but they can't evaluate talent. And I'm not convinced if Hunter Henry's doesn't have. A, a marginally better quarterback. Did Hunter Henry's not a better player? I mean, Hunter Henry had success before he was here. Mm-hmm. I don't think Hunter Henry is, you know, an elite tight end, but I think Hunter Henry's an above-average offensive tight end. I mean, Gesicki looked like a stud in Miami. 
And not and, and now listen, he can't block, and there's a lot of other flaws to him. But Gasicki was a quality weapon in Miami. I, I mean, some of this is Mac Jones' fault, and S- and the idea is. is why would I draft a quarterback if I have to if I have to surround him with elite. Skill position. Not even though. elite. But there's, a, but there's a difference between talking about elite. Like, you're not going to go out and get oh, an elite receiver. Okay. But they they're, tried. They're, they went out and they got a broken down Juju Smith Schuster. D- 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 no, no. They tried before. They got, they thought that that Aguilar was going to be. Oh, no, a, they did not. not. They not paid him. They close. don't know. They, 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 they drafted Tyron, uh, Tyron Thornton. High Tyquan. In the second, Tyquan Thornton. High, well, I, I can't imagine why. We all understood Tyquan Thornton. He was he could run a 4-2, but he's they draft, thinner than I am. Well, what did George Pickett do last night? But how about how about the offensive line? What did George Pickett do yesterday? Pickens? Pickens. Pickens was very good last night, yesterday afternoon, and about, much better than Tyquan Thornton. I mean, there was there was elite wide receiver talent around there. Yeah, why t- why take any of it? Why draft any of it? They can't. They can't. Well, make evaluate, up your mind. Are they drafting? They can't evaluate talent. No, no, that's what, what, they can't evaluate. And who but, on a, what skill position other than uh, so, the tight end? What skill position players did they spend money on to help out Mac Jones? Uh, Aguilar, Agal, okay, and Porn. They they spent a lot of money, dude. That free agent. I don't know if you'll recall, but I know. But exactly. they over. But they, they I know spent on mediocre I, to bad talent. That's not, Ryan. 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 Ryan, Ryan. I was the one wet blanket on this station during that whole time that thought they were making a gigantic mistake. I remember, I was going to, to get my shoulder an MRI on my shoulder that day, and I was driving out to Waltham, beautiful Waltham where we sit right now, mm-hmm. and. Uh, I was in the car, and we had been off the air, so everything was happening. And uh, Zolak and Bertram were on the air, and rightly so, and they were having a great time. They like the breaking news sounders never played more, and everyone was just out of their minds with excitement about every free agent that was coming in here. And I thought, why are you spending all this money on free agents when you? You're rebuilding. What, like, why don't you rebuild? You you don't have a lot of talent on this team. And then ultimately, what did you get? So why not take your victory lap instead of trying to defend, in part, what has happened over the last three years? I'm just telling you what a huge disaster it is. It is I'm a tell, disaster. I'm telling you that, Mac, I'm telling you, no, no, I'm not defending anything that they've done. They, I, they, I'm saying that they've taken, they've, they've spent money on skill position. They have. I mean, they were the biggest spenders in that free agency okay. class. What, they, so, they, hold on. They've, hang on. They've used draft capital to take... to take. Uh, so what I'm saying is it's even worse than me. You're making it out. They've used draft capital to... Uh, Kill Harry, Sony uh, Michelle. Sure. Yeah. Uh, 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 Tyquan Thornton. A bunch. Of, I mean, that's a high second round pick. So the they've used that. that and then what I'm saying is... That Mac Jones still sucks, and so you screwed up with the Mac Jones pick too. Yes, yeah. So They've what I'm saying is, things. is that everything is is terrible. That you've that you've screwed everything up. And getting back to the point I was making about Belichick's system and the way he decides to kind of massage things around the quarterback, Mac Jones needs more than Belichick gives him. It's obvious. And you could say, okay, Mac Jones, there was a bad talent read. They shouldn't have drafted him. But the fact is, he's here. And they need more. He needs okay, more I think, around him. See, uh, it's I'll ask you never this. going to work between those two. You don't no, give Mac Jones the extension. You don't sign him to that extra. I don't. Year. Th- I don't know. You how get you, rid of him immediately. Unless you're. I don't know why you even. I, I would trade him at the deadline. Now, he, I really would too. <laughs> For I, what? Anything you could anything. you could honestly release him, and I'm not sure how much interest he is. Uh, he gets the, right there, now. there would be interest. People would think they could fix him. You could at least swap seventh rounders. He for might him. be a mediocre he quarterback well. at some point in this league, but it won't be with this team. No, it won't be. And and I'll tell you this is that uh, I forgot what I was going to say. I was I, uh, I me, it was a great point. To me, it's it's not even about the weapons at this point because listen. Oh I, no, what I was going to say it, is, do you think if they had DeAndre Hopkins, like they'd have another win? Another win. No. Well, here's the thing. He, no. It, if if he's getting a half a second in the pocket, it doesn't matter who your weapons are. 
Right. It, 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 those guys don't even have time to get open before he's ducking and, and trying to get out of the but, way. But, but the you, flip side of that so is when he does have time, they can see, get open. That, you know, to me is, that to me is Belichick's biggest failure of this team is he has put this guy out there in, behind a line that they can't protect him. The line is terrible, but did you? But and, that's but not even that's not even hear, expensive to do. No, I know. I well, we all we've talked about this. Is that and then they've blown offensive line picks too. Did you did, did you hear any of the game with Zolak? Yes, I listened to a good I, chunk I, of the fourth. Yes, quarter. I okay. listened to. Well, I was in the car during the first half. Okay, so you heard him. Oh yeah. All right. So what would he say? Mac Jones was seeing ghosts. Mac Jones was seeing ghosts. Yes. Mac Jones was double clutching. Mac Jones was saying. So, so according to Zolak, who obviously Zolak is amazing with the way he can analyze defense and and what's going on, it really is something. Now, now it's hard for him to get it out, but it's very interesting when he does. <laughs> but the uh, I'm kid, I kid. But he said, uh, I mean, he was talking about that Mac had. There was times even when Mac had time that he was freaking he's, out and he's gun shy. You yeah, could absolutely well, yeah, they've yeah, yeah. broken him. No, they have. whatever whatever skill he had two years ago as a rookie is gone. And you have a gar- garbage your backup quarterback too, with no future. Yeah. So here now, forget it. it it's going to annoy the audience, but now you're at square one again, and you have nothing to build around. And you could have started this whole process three years ago and just cultivated picks and traded away your veterans. You still. Wouldn't have won a Super Bowl. You still wouldn't have won a playoff game. It just you wouldn't have made the playoffs. But you would have done it the way you were supposed to do yes. it instead of putting a band aid on a cut that was yep. too large. Exactly. <laughs> I and mean, then, and then you could have cultivated picks. And I mean, you know, but I don't but know. you but had maybe he would have taken a center. You and, had you had a head coach that didn't want to go through that, and an owner that didn't want to go through that. And now you're it's four years later, and well, you haven't changed anything. The owner didn't want to go through that. The owners. Didn't read that situation correctly because that because uh, uh, I know Nelson Aguilar is not elite. They paid him a lot of money. I know, you know he's not, but elite. they, they spent too all. much money on guys that aren't very I, good. Well, and Kendrick Bourne, I guess, is fine, but he's making too much money. Kendrick also, Kendrick Bourne's not. I mean, I think Kendrick Bourne's a perfectly fine receiver. He's not good. No, for but this when team. you say DeAndre Hopkins, would DeAndre Hopkins change anything? Well, no, because he's too he's too old. Even though he had a good game yesterday. I'm talking about a bona fide number one receiver. Yeah, no, I know. A franchise uh, but, uh, left tackle, which uh, is what they needed to give this kid. But you wouldn't have, well, I mean, good luck in both. But the, uh, the, uh, I mean, you're not going to really. Do what you can to protect this kid's blind well, yeah, side. Don't, and give don't, him a target to take all the coverage away yeah, from the squadron of mediocre receivers you have on this roster. Don't take a guard in the first round. Yeah. Don't take a project receiver in the uh, like a receiver who's a project. I don't know his. Don't I, take. I don't know his economic. Three background. quarters of the picks that you took over the last five years. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you know, when you took the kid on the board last year, that was uh, supposed was like uh, the kid that you were supposed to take on the board. Uh, he would have been maybe defensive rookie yeah, of the year. Maybe don't fix what's broken and don't move up into the fo- higher in the fourth round to take a kicker when you had a perfectly good one. Yeah, that way. I mean, that was awesome. Yeah, I don't know why they got don't and that. draft a punter too. That was good. Yeah, I mean, they, you good. drafted a kicker and a punter the same year. Well, well so I like, much has gone wrong. Well, I like the punt that he put into the uh, bench. Oh, it was fantastic. That was uh, everything's coming up, Patriots. No, that was they're bad, and they're and I was talking to Lockhart. I don't know how many teams are worse. I mean, you t- you look at the draft picks. I mean, he's whiffed on entire years yes. worth of draft picks, yes, including twenty twenty two. Unless you like Marcus Jones, I mean, I I, <laughs> I went over it last night. Three quarters of the last twenty four hey, picks they've made in the first four rounds have been awful. Three quarters of them. I mean, that was a bad team at home. I mean, th- th- that's a New Orleans team that that's a terrible offensive team. Yeah. I and the at home and you add them at home, horrible red zone team that just horrible dominated red, you in the red they, zone, and yesterday. they don't score points. They don't. They just there's don't score no, points. There's no weather problems. There's no nothing. No, and you couldn't you couldn't handle no, it. No, and you ruined your quarterback, which is really sad. I'm I'm starting to think that they they shouldn't have benched him against the uh, Cowboys. I don't know if it matters. 
But, I mean, you you can't just run around benching your quarterback like that. It seems to me that if you bench your starting quarterback in two consecutive weeks, he really shouldn't be your starter. Well, you and I have talked about this. Like, other teams don't do that. I know that. Other teams don't lose back-to-back games by 34-plus points. It's either. time, even, even in Belichick, even if he's steadfastly, defiantly going to play this kid, he doesn't have a good reason. But to last do. year there was quarterbacks that got benched. But you know what? They didn't play again. Exactly. <laughs> just, just, you bench your starter. You, you put Mike think White about in. replacing him. And then you put yeah, you play Mike White, and he and he starts. Yeah, but until you, they you, get you, when, you, when you when Belichick gets asked both weeks about oh, yeah, yeah, why the, why he benched Jones, it's like well, it's thirty one nothing. I mean, it's like you know, we we couldn't come back at well, that point. So I've got to I got to make sure the kid doesn't get hurt because we're going to need him next week. Yeah, you do. You need him to to to, to get to make sure the other defense can pad its stats a little bit with some touchdowns. Now uh, I'll tell you this: is that he has said that Mac Jones is his number one quarterback. Yes. Even though Zappy apparently last week in practice was taking a lot of reps. All right, we'll be back in just a moment.